Uh, but in terms of you know a bodybuilding context, the weight training is the primary stimulus. The cardio I do think is kind of secondary, you know, because you can be big without it. But I really do think it's got some. There's some benefits for you to be had if you start doing it on a consistent basis. Better endurance in the gym, better metabolism, which that that the better metabolism part too. That goes both ways. So in a cut. You get to eat a little bit more food and still lose weight, assuming that's the whole point of your cut. You're eating at a deficit. You know, doing cardio is going to mean that your maintenance calories are higher. So, fuck it, man. You probably get an extra... Uh, if the, Let's say the machine is right when it says you burn 300 calories in half an hour, like I, like I usually set the settings up to. Eh, I think it might be kind of bullshit, but whatever. Let's just say 300 calories of cardio. You probably end up burning a little bit extra than that, too just afterwards kind of because your heart rate's still elevated a bit but that's the equivalent of fucking 75 grams of carbs anybody that's been kind of deep into dieting knows 75 grams of carbs is not nothing by any stretch of the imagination so and then in a bulking context it's just going to be easier for you to eat more food like i get the logic like oh i just burned 300 calories i'm going to have to eat it again well, you're not going to have to eat it. You're going to be hungry for it. It's just like, it's like you're creating a need for your body to have more food. It's kind of a busy intersection. I don't want to hit any kids. But, in t so, and then in terms of the breakfast, this is totally, we're totally switching topics now. Only 15 grams of protein? Sam, isn't that a little low? Don't you have to hit a gram per pound of body weight? Aren't you trying to do 250? You would be right. You would be right. But... The way I look at it is, you know, I don't have it as a perfectly evenly distributed spread across my whole day. I would much rather eat a little bit slower, you know, and approach my, uh, let's say I've only got 2,500 calories for the day. Or no, no, I, I, uh, I raised it to 3,000. So I've only got 3,000 for the day. I'd rather, you know, get to like noon and have only eaten like maybe six or 700. Because if it's noon, and I've had 2,500 calories, then that means for the rest of the day, assuming I actually, you know, stay under that limit, I've only got 500 calories to play with. So I typically end up doing smaller breakfasts, lunches, and I eat a little bit more food before and after training, but also a little bit more food, you know, just kind of at night. Because it, uh, it is kind of fucking, you're kind of setting yourself up for fucking failure if you're leaving yourself zero food and it's like seven o'clock at night right assuming you're actually legit you're trying to stick to this limit then you know you've got until you go to bed and then you have to fall asleep hungry which is not typically the easiest thing to do you know i find that later at night that's the classic cheat time nobody wakes up in the morning and has a fucking big ass cheat meal but even people who aren't tracking their calories in general i think there's this kind of like mental gymnastics where it's like, oh, I was really good today. I, I didn't even eat that much today. I can have a treat tonight. And then, you know, whatever they eat at night completely counteracts all of the calorie, lo the low calorie dense foods or whatever they ate during the day. So if you're into the whole stupid, simple macro tracker, which you should be, all of you should have that downloaded and you should all be fucking opening it every time you eat anything. But... Yeah, wait, what was I even about to say? Whatever, yeah, that should be you. Get the stupid, simple macro tracker. And that's not a made-up name. That's that's what it's fucking called. You just plug in the amount of fats, proteins, and carbs you had that meal, and it'll fucking track it for you, man. I think the MyFitnessPal gets a little too complicated with it. I, uh, I like the simplicity of this one.